the tree of liberty must be refreshed, from time to time, with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Nothing can stop the man with the right mental attitude, from achieving his goal, nothing on earth can help the man, with the wrong mental attitude. I have sworn upon the altar of God, eternal hostility against, every form of tyranny over the mind of man. The care of human life and happiness, and not their destruction, is the first and only object of good government. Nothing gives one person so much advantage, over another as to remain always cool, and unruffled under all circumstances. A bill of rights is what the people are entitled to against every government, and what no just government should refuse, or rest on inference. Experience hath shown, that even under the best forms of government, those entrusted with power have, in time, and by slow operations, perverted it into tyranny. Dependence begets subservience and venality, suffocates the germ of virtue, and prepares fit tools for the designs of ambition. Were it left to me to decide whether, we should have a government without newspapers, or newspapers without a government, I should not hesitate a moment to prefer the latter. I was bold in the pursuit of knowledge, never fearing to follow truth and reason to whatever results they led, and bearding every authority which stood in their way. There is not a truth existing which I fear, or would wish unknown to the whole world. No occupation is so delightful to me, as the culture of the earth, and no culture comparable to that of the garden. I hope our wisdom will grow with our power, and teach us, that the less we use our power the greater it will be. Subscribe my channel, if you like my work. And don't forget to press the bell icon.